Yo guys, okay, so today we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna try out uh, this crazy build using the two masks from Halloween. One that does the burning damage. And the other one that slows and also does a little bit of damage as well. So basically this does 50 damage per second and this does 20 damage per second and then we want to pair it up with low HP so we brought them fishes I binded them out of the relics in the inventory slot along with the screamies here the thing is that we're gonna have everything slowed so we can easily avoid melee damage so we want to focus on getting as much range damage as we can as well as magic and we're gonna try running this with a short bow as you can see I'm like this is a lot of gold here so <laughs> we have our fail safes we don't need to use them um, I've been thinking a lot about this build and there's some other items that we can use to, uh, such as the ones that confuse enemies so like Amulet of Chaos is one of them Because we'll we're gonna basically take damage only from ranged enemies and the thing is that we need to proc our mask proc at exactly under 900 health so we're gonna try to get to under 900 health and then uh, just AOE everything down the speed from the short bow should do um, help us here to kite and avoid damage there's also another relic but I think it's there's none at the epic tier that um, has that effect to confuse enemies I know there is one at the legendary tier which might be good for the So there is a bottle here that does the same thing. So yeah, this one missed of deception. So this one also confuses enemies so they won't attack you. And yeah, uh, I guess it's good with Deathly Hallows. Because this one you have to be, I guess, under 150% or something like that because it's 25%. But nevertheless, let's give it a go. Pray for the best. Let's see how efficient the AoE is. So first of all, I would actually prefer going top down. Okay. So we're gonna basically try and like kill stuff and until we get our damage down. See, range is already hitting us. Our damage, our health. Although I don't know what to say with the energy because the short bow uses a lot of Wanna try and save that. We're already at two thousand six hundred, so we're going for that three hundred, like nine hundred mark, under nine hundred our props. And we'll have to start avoiding the damage. Uh, 
I think it is best though to try and go at least like half of the dungeon, you know, before we hit that 900. I think that's the best way to go about it. So I will have to be fast here. Okay, everything started burning. Okay, see, exactly at 900. So let's see how we approach this. So for melee, it's like simple. This we want to get, we just want to focus the range mobs, to be honest. And pray. Great, short bows. So we can use our screamies at 600, that's 750, so we can use one screamy now. As you can see, the range is actually pretty. But the damage is there, there is damage, we just have to avoid, so this gives 300, this is uncooked, ah, ah, <laughs> it's so funny, well, it doesn't matter, we have the screamies, so let's just now focus on avoiding the range damage and see how this goes. Because we want to avoid range and try and like burn everything else down. But this is like, <laughs> it's not that easy to be honest. And this one spawn some other stuff as well. Because there's a lot of archers, a lot of archers here. So basically, you just need that when you reach 650, you can use a screamy. After that, we'll use the 400 health fishes. So that's like at 500. Fee, don't do it. No. As you can see, this is not that easy. <laughs> but the damage is pretty good. I think this uh, this is gonna be sick when co-op gets released because, like, right now it's like not that efficient to do it by yourself, like time efficient. I mean, because the damage is great. I cannot complain. Like. I haven't figured out exactly how many shots stuff needs to die, but like I'm not focusing on that. I want to try and get the burn and slow. It's just that this got that ranged enemies need to die. To be honest, I don't even know what is better here, like a short bow or a long bow, or I don't even. <laughs> Burn. 
But it's pretty fun, I guess. But like I said, I think this is gonna be sick in call because right now it's like not that time efficient, I guess. Because like, well, I uh, well, this is like the first time I'm playing it. <laughs> but as you can see, it's pretty fun. But there's a lot of range, so. See, nothing is burning. Good, now it is. So yeah, going for that... This amulet with the damage reduction, I think it's like the best way to approach this. So this gives like 10% st reduced like, this is like think only for the like melee hits, not for the magic damage stuff, like poison and stuff, but it still goes a long way. Coupled with the uh, range armor, you see this is a good room, you only got melee, like, it's strong. It's strong. We just have to like super pay attention to our health. And if we go below 500, we can use a fish, a fish. I'm going to try to use a fish because I only have one screamy left. We should try and avoid stuff. We've got archers. We've got the archers. So I guess we can use a fishy here. And let's use this one because we are in, we have time. Oh it went about that's a power four hundred fifty fish. Great. Good. Let that guy hit us. No I shouldn't have let this guy hit us. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Come on this guy. Yeah. So the damage is nice. It's just sprinting with this one. It's scary uh, as well because the masks are virtual <laughs> and they're like 200k each almost. And yeah, but you can totally avoid range damage. Except mostly from the archer is a little bit harder. But everything else seems to. If you just focus, you can check the attacks. I really want to try out this build. I don't know what to think about it. Like, I'm gonna. Archers are horrible. Mm. 
Let's see if we get warden and how it's to kite like the warden with this stuff. <laughs> I don't know if the intention for this item is like to... God damn it. To like help you survive, maybe, when you are under or you don't have food or... But they're definitely fun. Like same for the howl Howling Amulet. You know, the one from Halloween with the double melee damage under 25%. Like. Is it situational where you only want to do that damage when you get under 25% or we always want to do that damage, you know, get fast under 25% and then stay there and where our energy is dead. So we have to slow down a bit. Oh, The next time we want to use the fishy is under 500. That is pretty fun, like you can definitely kite them. Or just do fast. Oh, we're almost at the end. You saw the chest. So this is fun, but I guess you need a lot of practice to make it like... Efficient. No, no, no archers, no archers, no. God damn you. everywhere but it's fun right try and get some other stuff get make some other guilds as well like this build crafting this game is fun to be honest oh we got the word done and resist resist he resisted he can't touch us what's up Gordon? you want to juke <laughs> so this is like incredibly fun the decay and the burn are amazing as you can see shall we use a fishy we don't need to use a fishy you are slow bro <laughs> but yeah the the fastest build that i've like managed to clear this in like between 10 and 12 minutes is the Sprinting ambush build that I put together with the two movement speed relics. Which. 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 Which is fun. Which is like. I found the best ways to alternate between them. But I think this build is definitely better with a short bow. We're gonna do some more runs with it. Just like, I really don't wanna push my luck, so. So we need to go get them fishes. The proper ones, too. Fishes. So this one give 450 health, so that's an issue. I'm gonna use this one. So. Mm -hmm. 
one of 400 yet. Man, I'm thinking about like when you need <laughs> to use less healing. <coughs> Let's give it another go. Let's see if we can go faster. Cause, cause, cause. This seems fun. But we need to concentrate on taking down the the range damage. That's the scary part. You know? Cause the archers are not that easy to juke. And the Obion archers are like doing like 200 if they multi-shot you, which is like scary. Scary, scary. Okay, let's give it another go. Let's see if we can go faster, can improve on this. Let's try to use the bow more, get some dexterity with it. Before it does damage, to, 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 to die, die. Take two hits, huh? Yeah, see from the longbow, it's just one hit. But with the burn damage and the speed on the short bow, like that shouldn't even matter. Okay, so see this one there. Sucky, but we get them down in two power attacks, so we'll keep that in mind. We need to power attack that. We have to actually power attack everything now until we get the burn damage. Okay, so we're down at 2 power 2k. Man, I hate this bug. Like, when I play on my Windows laptop, it's like I can, I can see the bar without looking at it, you know, like the values. <laughs> <laughs> but on Mac, it's like incredibly scrappy that the bars don't have filler. So I always have to look at the number, which is like obviously takes more focus and like I have to pay more attention to the number than I can like lose attention on what's happening on the screen because I have to always like look exactly at the number, not at the bar. But yeah working with it what can we do alpha but man i really want to get some kind of edge some kind of edge and i think hope will be that edge with this build because soloing it it's not that it's that scary but like i don't know i guess it's a good map where I, you can use this Because you like you have to like the it's basically versus melee. But the nodes is are good because we're getting some uh, regeneration back on our energy though. Like the short bow. Uh, at least make the short bow and the one-handed weapons lo use half of the energy because it's redundant you know like i really want to use the short bows but there's no use case they're so bad so bad and at least make the archers i guess not have a long bow, do the same range as my short bow. That would be a lot 
a lot cleaner we could balance balance because you want to have fun when you run these dungeons you don't want to like I know that it has to be a certain like amount well like I said traps and stuff will probably come but, like At the moment, it's just spam, 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 spam the same dungeon because of the tool, the tools that you get locked in, like specific dungeons that you can use them. So you have to grind those over and over again. And to be honest, here's my theory craft about how like a little edge on item drops like I also like heard it in an interview or something but like I found this to be the way that stuff drops more often than it doesn't because like you know you can do a thousand dungeons apparently and nothing drops so I also heard him like clip saying in one interview like well if nothing drops in the dungeon that you're grinding move to a harder one right well Okay, I moved to a harder one, but I can't fucking mine, I can't fish, I can't level up my profession in there. But yeah, I guess the drops kind of get a little, it's not about like the higher tier dungeon has better drops, right? It's about the fact that it's harder for you to make, so like maybe the game knows somehow that what gear you're entering the dungeons with and if you finish them with like if they are harder for you maybe better gear drops or something like that i don't don't quote me on that or, but like mm, it could be an interesting approach man but this like where is my health why is it not going down But yeah, I think like the sprinting ambush build is the way to go for aisle. Okay, we're gonna get there soon. We're getting there, guys. 900, here's the burn damage. Everything is dying. We have no energy. <laughs> we can't touch this. Can't touch this. What's up, doggy? You a good doggy? Wanna be my pet? Bad doggy. Bad doggy. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this build. If you guys have any ideas, tips and tricks, I kind of like went in about this build in my head for like the last three days i tried it one time with the longbow exactly with this combo with the damage reduction it didn't feel great it feels better with a short bow it's just that i don't really have like energy okay so let's Right, and oh, we have two range behind a big dog, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're gonna die low. Okay, so we got that. Okay, the Obe on which is bad. Ah, oh, we should have let him hit us one more time so we can use a fish. A fish. But yeah, I don't know. It feels like because of the energy, I can't like face roll them, you know? Like I have to like wait for fire damage and kiting and. 
like I'm not quite sure how to approach this. That's what I'm trying to get at. Like see, I would do damage here, they would die faster. That's good. I don't do just push and just kill the because they hide behind the melee most of the times and it's hard to you know, like what is the best way to run this like just run around and pull everything and like see because <laughs> you already one shot them with the bow so with the long bow so it's like this is not faster but it's AOE, so I don't <laughs> So, can you scream is like 650 health? I guess it's good for melee too, but it's like... and kill them with me maybe that's faster uh, but you still have to group them up which takes time and like I said with the longbow you can just one shot them so it's faster let's see if we can kill this guy with the dot behind the wall oh <laughs> nice nice you like that? You like it. You wanna get the range? But yeah, I don't really understand where this can come into play as an actual like this is not fast that's what I'm trying to get at like because in co-op if there's somebody else that's like this is like just added damage you know just help out the group and this like can go really good in co-op in that sense but for soloing i just don't see it being fast and you know it's all about the speed in this game at the moment because there's nothing else but speed grind 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 to dungeons from the skills so it's about the speed, but this is kind of like the item setups that you can roll with this stuff, you know, because like I've been thinking, like what do I want to get, you know, like I'm at 30%, I need to AOE stuff down and i need to get hit as little as possible right so okay good uh, just go for the damage reduction stuff and see how it goes but like i said there's also the um, confusion like if we get rid of the screamies which i don't think that's like a good uh, approach to it but we can get that amulet in there and then we can just roll with the fishes, you know, and just pop one when we're below 500 health. 
and then you don't need a healing relic well if you don't have screamies that's like the best way to go about it but like we have the screamies we were lucky during the event and we got them because they're like really good but yeah i don't know if i'm just slow because i'm slow but I just don't see this like being faster than like other stuff. You know? Even if it's like the damage is fucking awesome. Like this AoE and the slow and everything is great. I just don't see cause you you know you can't really target range. You can't really target range when they are hiding behind like a melee mob. So that is like they will get hits on you most likely until you reach them. Uh, I'm just thinking of like this with melee somehow could be better <laughs> but yeah there's not a lot of options in the epic and blue tier at the moment with the relics 